Glory to you, O God, glory to you, heavenly King, comfort, spirit of truth, present in all places and filling all things, treasure of good things and giver of life. Come, take your abode in us, cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Iosotheos, Iosiskiros, Iosophanatos, Eleisonimas. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Kirieleison, Kirieleison, Kirieleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pater imon, o en dis uranis, ae giestito to nomasu, el thetu i vasilia su, genitito to thelimasu, os en urano ke epitis gis, ton orton imon ton epiusion dosi min simeron, ke afes simin ta o filimata imon, os ke imis afiem en tis o filete simon, Que mi se denki si mas ispiras mon alarise mas apotuponiru. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <coughs> For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You who were lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, Bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. Earn for an ally, Lord, may they have you. Peace is their army, the trophy invincible. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. O awesome and unshameable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos. Do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you have called to rule. Grant them victory from heaven, for you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Let us pray for pious and orthodox Christians. And we pray for our Archbishop Nathaniel. Your merciful God, who loves mankind, and you we offer up glory to the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever. To the ages of age, Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Doxa tia ia ki musio ke zopio ki adireto tia di ando tenin ke ai ke isu se onas tone ono. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger. For your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. 
There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly. And they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who, <clears throat> who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live and are become stronger than I and those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. <clears throat> those who repaid me evil for good slandered me because I pursue righteousness, <clears throat> and they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper. And in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain, and they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper. And in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave, whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Your wrath, your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O oh Lord, I cried to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cried to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me, neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. 
Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not be angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, he remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, who do his words, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul, he humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy, you shall, utter, you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in a land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. The peace from above for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. The peace of the whole world, for the stability of the Holy Church of God, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Nathaniel, the honorable presbytery for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, for the present, for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For the city and for every city and land, and for the faith who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favor for the abundance, the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, 
Let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the pair of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O ti prepisi passa doxa timike proskinisis, to patrike to yok tu pnevmati ninke ai, keis tu se onas to neono. Κυρίως και επεφάνεν ημίν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And the genesis in Parthenia nephilaxas, and the chemise ton cosmon, who cut the lipes theotoke, metestis prostin zoin, me tiri par husatis ois, get as presviestes litrumeni, ectanatutas psychasimon. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In giving birth you retained your virginity, and in dormition you did not forsake the world, O Theotokos. You were translated unto life, being the mother of life, and thus by virtue of your intercessions, you deliver our souls from death. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and her Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ, our God. Sikiria. O ti sodokratos que suesti di basilia que dinamis que idoxa, tu patros que tu iuc tu pnevmatos nin que ai, que se se onas tone ono. Ενώ 
neuf matins, Pepi qu'il mène nos en nefrosini crap gazisi, Chere parthene, Christia non to kafhima. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. By the immaterial, the Spirit of the whole world, on your bright memorial, has been noetically adorned, and it exultantly cries to you, Rejoice, O Virgin, the pride and joy of Christians all. You gather together the apostles born on a cloud to see your divine translation at the summons of your Creator, the Son you bore. Therefore, with great rejoicing and with manifest glory, they hymned you as they buried the immaculate body of your sublime beatitude, O Mother of Christ our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. You gathered together the apostles born on a cloud, to see your divine translation at the summons of your Creator, the Son you bore. Therefore, with great rejoicing and with manifest glory, they hymned you as they buried the immaculate body of your sublime beatitude, O Mother of Christ our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness, my bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation <clears throat> and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if he desired sacrifice, I would give it. He will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. The Theotokos is undying in intercession. Immovable is our hope in her for protection. Neither death nor burial prevailed over her. As she is mother of life, she was removed to life by him. And the Lord who lived in ever virgin womb, the Lord who lived in her ever virgin womb. On the 18th of this month, we commemorate the holy martyrs Floris and Loris of Luriscum. 
On this day, the holy multitude of paupers who break the idols to pieces were perfected in martyrdom by fire. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyrs Hermas, Serapion, and Polonius of Rome. On this day, we celebrate the Synaxis near Strobilus of the holy martyr Juliana of Nicodemi, Demia and the holy martyr Leo, who contested by the sea near Myra of Lycia. On this day, the holy four desert ascetics reposed in peace. On this day, we commemorate our fathers among the saints, John and George, patriarchs of Constantinople. On this day, we commemorate our righteous and God-bearing fathers, Barnabas and Sophias, his nephew, who were from Athens, and Christopher of Trevisand, who struggled in asceticism on Mount Mela and reposed in peace. On this day, we commemorate our righteous and God-bearing fathers, Arsenius the New, who was from Ionia and struggled in asceticism on the Isles of Peros. On this day, we commemorate our righteous and God-bearing father, Sophronius, who struggled in asceticism in the skeet of St. Anna on the Holy Mountain. On this day, we commemorate the holy higher martyr, Emilian, and the holy, holy martyrs, Hilarion, Dionysus, and Hermippus in Italy. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, John of Ryla. On this day, we celebrate the synaxis of the Sumela icon of the most holy Theotokos. By the intercessions of thy saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. The tyrant king of Babylon had the furnace made seven times. For the godly man, for he was furious. But after he witnessed how a higher power rescued them, he cried out and said, You servants bless the Creator, sing hymns to the Redeemer. O you priests and you people, exalt him beyond measure unto all the ages. In Theotoko in Chemitera tu fotos in imnis timon des me My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Dimpi mi o terra ton hieruvim Gen vox oteran, as in gritos ton serafim. Dinadia foros, theon logon te cusan, dinon tos theotokon, se megalinomen. He has regarded the lily state of his maidservant, for behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and a truly Theotokos you do we magnify. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Inti mi o terra ton cherubim, gen vox o terran, as in gritos ton serafim. Dina dia foros, theon logon te cusan, dinon tos theotokon, se megalinomen. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud, in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and a truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Yes, put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. 
He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Din timi o tera ton cherubim, ken doxo teran asin gritos ton serafim. Din adi aforos theon logon te kusan, din ontos theotokon se megalinon. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and the truly Theotokos you do we magnify. The heavens were astounded because of this, and the ends of the earth were astonished, because God himself bodily appear to the human race. O Theotokos, coming forth from your virgin womb, which indeed became more spacious than the heavens, and therefore by the orders of men and angels you are magnified. It is truly right to bless you, Theotokos, ever blessed, most pure, and the mother of our God, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and a truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us. O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and Air Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O ti se nu si passe dinamis ton uranon, que si tin doxan an apem bomen, to patri que to yok ti upneb matin in ke ai, que si se onas ton eonon. Roni me tha pros psabontes, Ti si eris panolvi, ni mon dipsanis en pisti, katam pon avre ke flore, alo megalo martires, ni animon proskirion, pite o paristas te, ton ti ni mon ekte lunton, Lampran ke pam foto mimi. O Lord, saints, with faith we touch your holy relics and become healthy and strong in body and soul, O Lord, and flora. Great martyrs, now we pray to you who stand before the Lord of all. Remember us, the Master, as we are now celebrating your memory and bright, bright and festive. Mm-hmm. 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 
Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the highest. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars and light. Praise him, you heavens of heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the Lord's name, for he spoke and they were made. He commanded and they were created. He established them forever and unto ages of ages. He set forth his ordinance and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons and all the deeps. Fire and hail, snow and ice, stormy wind, which perform his word, mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all the judges of the earth, young men and maidens, elders with younger. Let them praise the Lord's name, for his name alone is exalted. His thanksgiving is in earth and heaven, and he shall, not, he shall exalt the horn of his people, a hymn for all the saints, for the children of Israel, a people who draw near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of his holy ones. Let Israel be glad in him who made him. And let the children of Zion greatly rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dance, with tambourine and harp. Let them sing to him. For the Lord is pleased with his people, and he shall exalt the gentle with salvation. The holy ones shall boast in glory, and they shall greatly rejoice on their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their mouth, and two-edged sword in their hand, to deal retribution to the nations reproving among the peoples, to shackle their kings with chains and the nobles with fetters of iron, to fulfill among them the written judgment. This glory have all his ones. Praise God and his saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Praise him with the sound of a trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and flutes. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with triumphant cymbals. Let everything that breathe praise the Lord. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. To you belongs glory, O Lord our God, and to you we send up glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, and we thank you for your great glory. Lord King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty, Only Begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, the Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Accept our supplication, you who sit at the right of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you are the only Holy One, you are the only Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day I shall bless you, I shall praise your name forever and unto the ages of ages. Lord, you have become for us a refuge from generation to generation. I have said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. 
Grant, O Lord, that in this day we may be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, Lord, come upon us, just as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy remains forever. Do not turn away from the works of your hands. To you belongs praise, to you belongs the hymn, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, the garden of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Our remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. That which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. We complete the reigning time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Let us ask for a Christian into our life, peace without shame and suffering for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. O ti Theos eleo sic tirmon qui philanthropia si parchis, que sit in doc sorna pembomen, to patric et o ioc tu pneb matin in ceai, que se onas tone onor. Amin. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. O Holy Lord, who dwell on high and look upon the humble, and with your all-seeing eye do behold all creation. To you we have bowed the neck of our soul and body, and we implore you, O Holy of Holies, stretch forth your invisible hand for your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If any way we have sinned, either willingly or unwillingly, pardon us inasmuch as you are good, and you love mankind, granting to us good things in this age and the age to come. For yours is to show mercy and to save us, O our God, and to you we give glory. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of age. Amen. Amen. Το τέμενο στο θείον τη μόνη θεοτόκου ενώ πέρα νεκλήθη απάντων η βασίλισσα. Αφράζει ο Λόρ into your rescue and the ark of your holiness. The mother of our God, the only θεοτόκο. And most blessed lady, it's gloriously transferred from earth into celestial heights. The Lord swore to David this truth, and he shall not reject it. I shall set upon your throne one from the fruit of your loins. <clears throat> Solemnly sing all you angelic choirs of heaven. For now the Virgin Mother is gloriously transferred from earth into celestial heights. Mm -hmm. 
Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> the multitude of angels in heaven and we the human race on the earth together extol your holy august domitian o pure and o holy virgin for you are the mother of Christ our God, the creator of all. We entreat you, cease not from praying for us who have set our hope after God in you. O oh, audible and unwedded, they It is good to give thanks to the Lord and sing your name, O Most High, to proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth by night. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your namesake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Pater imon, oendi suranis, aiestito to nomasu, el thetu i vasilia su, genifito to thelimasu, osen urano ke epitis gis, τον άρωτον ημών τον επιούσιον δώσιμην σήμερον και άφες ημίν τα οφειλήματα ημών ως και ημίς αφιέμεν τις οφειλέτες ημών και μη εις ελέγγυς ημάς εις πειρασμών αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, through the ages of age. And the Yenisi in Parthenia ne filaxas, and the Kimisi ton cosmon, who cateli peste otoke, metestis prostin zoin, mitiri pargusatis ois, getes presviestes. Litrumeni ek thanatu tas psychasimon. In giving birth you retained your virginity, and in domitian you did not forsake the world, O Theotokos. You were translated unto life, being the mother of life, and thus by virtue of your intercessions, you deliver our souls from death. <laughs> Ευσεβία τη τρόπη εγκυμναζόμενη, 
tu martiriu tin trivon, dia per ate calos, o so memones lampri, Christon doxa santas, o ten iere romenimas, os geneus atlitas flore que lavre vontes, Apo pandia san angis, risas te pandas imas aigi. Both now and ever to ages of ages, amen. In giving birth you retained your virginity, and in Domitian you did not forsake the world, O Theotokos. You were translated unto life, being the mother of life. And thus by virtue of your intercessions, you deliver our souls from death. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, the source of life and immortality, who are the maker of all creation, both visible and invisible, the co-eternal and co-beginningless Son of the Eternal Father, who in the abundance of your goodness were in the last days clothed in flesh, were crucified and buried for us, ungrateful and unthankless ones, and by your own blood refashioned our nature, which had been corrupted by sin. O immortal King, accept the repentance of me, a sinner, Incline thine ear to me and hear my words. For I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned against heaven and before you. And I am not worthy to gaze on the height of your glory. For I have provoked your goodness by transgressing your commandments and not obeying your ordinances. But in your forbearance, patience, and great mercy, you, O Lord, have not given me up to be destroyed with my sins. But you await my complete conversion. For you who love mankind have said through your prophet, you do not desire the death of a sinner, but that he should return to you and live. For you do not will, O Lord, that the works of your hands should be destroyed, neither do you delight in the destruction of men, but you desire that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Therefore, although I am unworthy both of heaven and earth and even of this transient life, since I have completely succumbed to sin and am the slave of pleasures and have defaced your image, Yet being your work and creation, wretched that I am, even I do not despair of my salvation and dare to draw near to your boundless compassion. Therefore, receive even me, O Christ, who loves mankind, as the harlot, as the thief, as the publican, and as the prodigal, and take from me the heavy burden of my sins, you who take away the sins of the world, who heal men's sicknesses, who call the weary and heavy laden to themselves, and give them rest. For you came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And cleanse me from all defilement of flesh and spirit, and teach me to attain perfect holiness in the fear of you, that with a clear witness of my conscience, I may receive a portion of your holy things, and be united to your holy body and blood, and have you dwelling and remaining in me with the Father and the Holy Spirit. And O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, do not let the communion of your immaculate and life-giving mysteries be unto me for condemnation, nor let it make me sick in body or soul through my partaking of them unworthily, but rather grant unto my last breath that I may receive a portion of your holy things without condemnation, for communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision for eternal life and at an acceptable defense at your dread tribunal, so that I too, with all your elect, may become a partaker of your pure joys which you have prepared for those who love you, O Lord, in whom you are glorified throughout the ages. Amen. O Lord, I know that I partake of your immaculate body and precious blood unworthily, and that I am guilty and eat and drink judgment to myself by not discerning the body and blood of you, my Christ and God. But trusting in your compassion, I take courage and approach you. For you have said, he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Therefore, have compassion, O Lord, and do not make an example of me the sinner, but deal with me according to your mercy. 
And let these holy things be for my healing, purification, enlightenment, and sanctification, protection, salvation, and sanctification of body and soul. For the turning away of every fantasy and evil practice and diabolical activity working subconsciously in my members. For confidence and love towards you. For reformation of life and stability. For an increase of virtue and perfection. For fulfillment of the commandments. For communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision for eternal life and an acceptable defense at your dread tribunal, not unto judgment nor unto condemnation. Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy nor sufficient that thou should come under the roof of the house of my soul. For all is desolate and fallen, and you do not have a place in me to fit your head. But even as from on high you humbled yourself for our sake, so now conform yourself to my humility. And as you consented to lie in a cave and in a manger of a rational beast, so also consent to lie in the manger of my irrational soul and to enter my defiled body. And as you did not disdain to enter and dine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so also consent to enter the house of my humble soul, which is leprous and sinful. And as you did not reject the woman who was a harlot and a sinner like me, when she approached and touched you, so also be compassionate with me, the sinner, as I approach and touch you. And let the live coal of your most holy body and precious blood be for the sanctification and enlightenment and strengthening of my humble soul and body, and for the relief of the burden of my many sins, for protection from all diabolical practice, for a restraint and check on my evil and wicked way of life, for the mortification of passions, for the keeping of your commandments, for an increase of your divine grace, for the advancement of your kingdom. For it is not as one insolent that I, and presumptuous that I draw near to you, O my Christ, but as one taking courage from your ineffable goodness, so that having long abstained from your communion, I may not become a prey to the noetic wolf. Therefore I pray to you, O Lord, who alone art holy, sanctify my soul, my body, my mind, my heart, my emotions and affections, and wholly renew me. Root in my members the fear of you and make your sanctification indelible within me. Be also my helper, defender, my guide, my life and my peace, and make me worthy to stand at your right hand with your saints. Through the prayers and intercessions of your most pure mother, of your ministering angels, of the immaculate powers, and of all the saints who have been well-pleasing to you, amen. I am not worthy, Sovereign Lord, for you to come under the roof of my soul, but because of your love for all people, you wish to dwell in me. I boldly come. Command that the gates open which you alone made, and you will come in with love toward all people, as is your nature. You will come in and enlighten my darkened reasoning. I believe you will do this, for you did not send away the harlot who came to you with tears, nor cast out the repenting publican, nor reject the thief who acknowledged your kingdom, nor forsake the repentant persecutor for what he was. But you counted as your friends all of those who came to you in repentance. You alone are blessed, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, my God, loose, remit, forgive, absolve, and pardon the sins, offenses, and transgressions which I, your sinful, useless, and unworthy servant, have committed from my youth up to the present day and hour, whether in knowledge or in ignorance, whether by words or in deeds, whether in my intentions or in my thoughts, and whether by habit or through any of my senses, and through the intercession of her who conceived you without seed, the all-pure and ever-virgin Mary, your mother, my only sure hope, and protection and salvation, make me worthy to receive without condemnation your pure, immortal, life-giving, and fearful mysteries, unto forgiveness of sins and for eternal life, for sanctification, enlightenment, strength and healing and health of soul and body, and for the blotting out and complete destruction of my evil reasonings and intentions and prejudices, and the nocturnal fantasies of dark and evil spirits. For yours is the king glory and the kingdom and the power and the honor and the worship with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who alone has authority to forgive men their sins, in your goodness and love for men, overlook all my offenses, 
whether committed with knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to receive without condemnation your divine, glorious, spotless, and life-giving mysteries, not for punishment nor for an increase of sins, but for the purification and sanctification and the life of the kingdom to come, as a protection and help for the destruction of enemies, for the blotting out of my many transgressions. For you are a God of mercy and compassion and love for man, and to you we send up glory, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. From taint, lips tainted and defiled, from a heart unclean and loathsome, from an unclean tongue, out of a polluted soul, receive my prayer, O my Christ. Do not reject me, nor my words, nor my ways, nor even my shamelessness, but give me courage to say what I desire, O my Christ. And even more, teach me what to do and what to say. For I have sinned more than the harlot, who, learning where you were lodging, bought myrrh and dared to come and anoint your feet, my Christ and my God and my Lord. As you did not repulse her when she drew near in her heart, neither, O word, reject me, but grant me that I may clasp and kiss your feet and dare to anoint them with a flood of tears, as with most myrrh most precious. Wash me with my tears and purify me with them, O word. Forgive my sins, grant me pardon. You know the multitude of my evil doings. You also know my wounds. You see my bruises. You also know my faith, and you behold my willingness, and you hear my sighs. Nothing escapes you, my God and my maker, my redeemer. Not even a teardrop, nor part of a drop. Your eyes know what I have not yet achieved, and in your book things not yet done are written by you. See my depression, see how great is my trouble. Take from me all my sins, O God of all, that with a clean heart, a trembling mind, and a contrite spirit, I may partake of your pure and all holy mysteries, by which all who with sincerity of heart eat and drink you are quickened and deified. For you, my Lord, have said, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Holy true is the word of my Lord and my God, for whoever partakes of your divine and deifying gifts certainly is not alone but is with you my christ the light the triune sun which illumines the world that i may not remain alone without you the giver of life my breath my life my joy the salvation of the world i have therefore drawn near to you as you see with tears and with a contrite spirit ransom of my offenses i beseech you to receive me that i may partake without condemnation of your life-giving and perfect mysteries, and that you may remain, with, as you have said with me, the thrice wretched, as I am. Lest the tempter find me without your grace, and craftily seize me, and having deceived me, seduce me by your deifying words. Therefore I fall at your feet, and fervently cry to you. As you receive the prodigal and the harlot who drew near to you, so also have compassion, and receive me, the prolific and the prodigal, as I now draw near to you with a contrite spirit. I know, O Savior, that none other has sinned against you as I have, nor have done the deeds that I have done. But I also know this, that neither the greatness of my offenses nor the multitude of my sins surpasses the great patience of my God. In his extreme love for man, despite our offenses, you purify and enlighten with the oil of compassion those who fervently repent, and you make them children of the light and sharers of your divine nature. And you act most generously for what is strange to angels and to the minds of men, you often tell to the repentant as your true friends. These things make me bold, my Christ, these things give me wings, and I take courage from the wealth of your goodness to us. With rejoicing yet with trembling, I who am but straw partake of fire, and behold strange wonder, I am ineffably bedewed like the bush of old, which burnt without being consumed. Therefore, thankful with mind and heart and thankful heart and with all thankfulness and all the members of my soul and body, I worship and magnify and glorify you, my God, for you are blessed now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Lord, who alone art pure and corrupt, who through the ineffable compassion of your love for mankind assumed our whole nature through the pure and virgin blood of her who supernaturally conceived you by the coming of the divine spirit, and by the will of the Eternal Father, O Christ Jesus, wisdom and peace and power of God, who in assuming your nature suffered your life-giving and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, mortify all the deadly passions of my body. You who in your burial spoiled the dominions of hell, 
Bury with good thoughts my evil schemes and scatter the spirits of wickedness. You who by your life-giving resurrection on the third day raised up our fallen first parent, raise me up who am sunk in sin and suggest to me ways of repentance. You who by your glorious ascension deified our nature, which you had assumed and honored it by your sitting at the right hand of the Father. Make me worthy by partaking of your holy mysteries of a place at your right hand among those who are saved. You who by the descent of the Spirit, the paraclete, made your holy disciples worthy vessels, make me also a recipient of his coming. You who are to come again to judge the world with justice, grant me also to meet you on the clouds, my maker and creator with all your saints, that I may unendingly glorify and praise you with your eternal Father, your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. I stand before the doors of your sanctuary, yet I do not put away my terrible thoughts. But, O Christ our God, who purified, justified the publican and who had mercy on the Canaanite woman, who opened the gates of paradise to the thief, open to me the depths of your love for mankind. And as I approach and touch you, receive me like the harlot and the woman with an issue of blood. For the one easily received healing by touching the hem of your garment, and the other obtained release from her sins, deplorable though they be, by clasping thy feet. And I dare to receive your whole body, that I may not be burnt, but you receive even me as you did these, and enlighten the senses of my soul, burn up the indictments of my sins by the intercessions of her who bore you without seed, and of the heavenly host, for you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe and confess, O Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. And I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me. Forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, in knowledge and of ignorance, and make me worthy, without condemnation, to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion, O Maker. Burn me not as I partake, for you are a fire consuming the unworthy. But cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper. For I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But, like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the deifying blood, for it is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wonderfully nourishes, nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins, and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that leaping for joy... I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master, who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification, sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and the kingdom to come. It is good for me to hope unto God and to cling to him and place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before God, our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ, God, our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before him, Christ, our King and God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy. 
and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, ye love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Merciful Lord, may your holy body be for me the bread of everlasting life. And may your precious blood, O compassion and master, prevent me from succumbing to illness of any kind. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. I am defiled by, by my inappropriate deeds, for which I am unworthy of the most pure body and divine blood of my Savior. O Christ, I entreat you, let me partake of them. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Bride of God, you are the blessed good earth that produced the ear of grain which no man sowed and which became the world's salvation. And now as I eat it, grant that I be saved by it. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. O Christ, grant me a faucet of cleansing teardrops to wash away the stain of my heart's defilement, that purified by them and with a good conscience, O Master, I may come to you with fear and faith and with love partake of your holy gifts, O Lord. Glory to you, O God, glory to you for pardon of the multitude of transgressions. Be your divine blood in your pure body, O lover of humanity, and for communion with the Holy Spirit and eternal life, and complete estrangement from passions troubling me. Most holy Theodoko, save us. O Virgin Maid, you are the all-holy table of the bread of life, the Son of God, who for mercy came down and gave new life to the world and saved it. Now I, who am unworthy, earnestly entreat, that you count me worthy to eat it and to live. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. You will to become incarnate for us, Lord most merciful, and as a lamb be sacrificed for all the sins of humanity. Therefore I implore you now to blot out my offenses and to wash me from my lawlessness. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O Master, I pray you, heal the wounds of my sorry soul, and though I am wretched, sanctify me body and soul alike. Make me worthy to partake of your divine and most mystical supper, O gracious Lord. Most holy Theotoko, save us. O Lady, implore your Son to be merciful unto me. I entreat you, keep me free of every sin and impurity, so that when I dare receive the holy pearl of communion, I may truly be sanctified. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. As you once said, O Christ, so let it be to me your worthless servant. Abide in me even as you promised. For now I am about to eat your holy body and drink your most precious blood. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O word of God and God, may the live coal of your divine body be illumination to me, be darkened, and may your holy blood be purification for my defiled soul. Most holy Theotoko, save us. O Mary, Mother of God, the tabernacle of the fragrance of God, I pray you make me a chosen vessel by your almighty prayers that I may partake of your Son's holy sacrament. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Savior, hallow my intellect, soul and heart, and my body, so that I may worthily approach your awe-inspiring mysteries and not eat and drink judgment upon myself. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. 
through communion of your holy mysteries, may I become a stranger to the sinful passions. May grace be added unto me, and may, and may I have assurance of life, O Christ. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Being holy as God and the word of God, through your holy mother's intercession, sanctify the whole of me as I approach your divine and immaculate mysteries. Doxa patrike ioge agio pneumatike ninke aike iscus eonas ton eonon amin. Ton arton Christe la vin mi peridis me, to soma to son ke to thio ni nemasu. Ton afran ton despota ke frikton mysterion su metaskin to atlio. Mi iscrimami genito genito de mi iso in eonio ge afanaton. I pray you do not forbid me to receive the bread, your body, O Christ, nor deny me your holy blood. May receiving your awe-inspiring immaculate mysteries be to me, wretched sinner, not for judgment, O loving Lord. May it rather be to me for immortal and everlasting life. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. Immortal, O Christ, are your mysteries, of which I am partaking. May this become for me the source of light and life, this passion and every good. May it give me growth and advancement in divine virtue by your grace, that I may glorify you, only good and merciful Lord. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. From passions and foes, from necessity and every tribulation, may I be rescued as I come to your divine and mortal mysteries reverently with trembling and longing, only friend of humanity, to sing to you, O God of our fathers, glory to you. Most holy Theotoko, save us. O maid full of grace, you ineffably gave birth to Christ the Savior. Now I, your unclean servant, pray to you who are most pure and immaculate, as I now prepare to go forward to receive the Holy Eucharist, completely cleanse me of impurities of body and soul. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Your holy mysteries, O Christ, are from heaven and are therefore awe-inspiring, and the mystical supper that you have prepared is divine. Now I, who am desperate, pray to you. Grant me to partake of it, O my God and Savior. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. To your compassion I have run, and with fear I cry to you, the only good one. As you said, so abide in me and let me abide in you. For trusting in your mercy, behold, I eat your all holy body and drink your blood, O Savior. Most holy Theotoko, save us. I am afraid as I partake of the fire, lest I burn like wax and hate you. Awesome mystery, wonderful is the mercy of God. How I, who am clay, can partake of God's body and his blood and can thus become immortal. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Yes, Christ is the Lord, and therefore taste and see that he is good. For of old he came down and became like us for us. Only once he offered himself as a sacrifice to his God and Father, yet he is forever slain, sanctifying us communicants. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O Lord, may my whole body with my soul alike be sanctified and illumined and saved and, and become your dwelling place. Through participation in your sacred and divine mysteries, O Master, may you and the Father and the Holy Spirit also dwell in me. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O Savior, most merciful, I pray to you that your divine, precious body and blood be for me both light and fire, burning up the causes of sin and also the thorns of the sinful passions, and fully enlightening me to worship your divinity. Most holy Theotoko, save us. When God formed the body for himself, he did it in your womb. Therefore, all generations, O Lady, sing your praise. Multitudes of angels give glory, for now through you they can clearly see him, the Lord of the universe, one in essence with humanity. Come and let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come and let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come and let us worship and bow down before him, Christ our King and God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord to the end of my days. The earth is the Lord's in its fullness, the world and all who dwell therein. For he founded it upon the seas and prepared it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend to the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? 
He who has innocent hands and a pure heart, he who does not lift up his soul to vanity, he who does not swear deceitfully to his neighbor, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and mercy from the God of his salvation. This is the, this is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up the gates, O ye rulers, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall enter. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord powerful in battle. Lift up the gates, O ye rulers, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall enter. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. I believe, therefore I spoke. I was greatly humbled, I said in my ecstasy. Every man is a liar. What shall I give back to the Lord for all he rendered to me? I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his holy ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the son of your handmaid. You broke apart my bonds. I will offer a sacrifice of praise. <clears throat> I shall pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. <clears throat> alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Overlook my transgressions, O Lord, born of a virgin, and purify my heart, and make it a temple of your Holy Spirit. I implore you, whose mercy is immense, that you do not reject me from your presence. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. How shall I, whom unworthy, shamelessly commune your holy mysteries? If I dare to approach you with those who are worthy, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not fit for the banquet, and I shall bring condemnation upon my very sinful soul. O Lord, cleanse the filth of my soul and save me in your love for, in your love for humanity. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, my offenses are indeed very many. To you I run, O maiden pure, and I pray for salvation. Visit my infirm and ailing soul, and pray for me to your Son and our God, to grant to me forgiveness for the evils I have done, O only blessed Lady. Keep going, Minas. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in this night, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. And behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth, and show me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my town shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. Evloyimeni vasilia tu patros, ketu iu ketu pnevmatos, nin keai in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. 
soul. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the Holy Church of God, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, for those who enter it with faith, reverence the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Nathaniel, the Honorable Prince Peter, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the present, all those in public service, for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For the great and holy Church of Christ, for our holy archdiocese, for this metropolis, for the city and parish and for every city and land, and for the faith who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For faith, whether for the abundance, the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, the peril of coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Greeting our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and Air Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord our God, whose dominion is incomparable and glory incomprehensible, whose mercy is a measure of love for mankind ineffable, look upon us, upon this holy house, in your loving kind kindness, and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. Oti prepi si passa lux atimi ke proskinisis, to patri ke to yok diupnev matin in ke ai, Amen. Shout aloud to the Lord all the earth. Despres vias quis te otoku, soter sosonimas. Give thanks to him and praise his name through the intercessions of the Theotoko, Savior, save us. In the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, Despres vias quis Theotoku, soter sosonimas. His place was made in peace, his dwelling in Zion, through the intercessions of the Theotoko, Savior, save us. Doxa patrike io ke ai hi opnev mati, ke ninke ai ke istus eonas ton eonon amin, despres vi estis Theotoku, soter sosonima. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and Air Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Amen. 
Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Thank for those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify the return by your divine power and forsake us not of set our hope in you. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than the dwellings of Jacob. Save us, O Son of God. Among the saints glorified, we sing to you, Alleluia. Glorious things were said concerning you, O city of God. So, so, ni masiatheu, o enaihis tapmastos, salon dasi, Alleluia. God established her, her forever. Save us, O Son of God, among the saints glorified, we sing to you, Alleluia. The Most High sanctified his tabernacle, so, so, ni masiatheu, o enaihis tapmastos, salon dasi, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, immortal One, who for our salvation did so humble yourself by taking on flesh, Taking flesh by, by the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, without change did you become man, and were crucified Christ our God, but conquered death by your death. As one of the Holy Trinity, and being glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and her Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Lord, you have granted us to offer these calm prayers in unison, the promise that when two or three agree in your name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the petitions of your servants may be a benefit to them, granting into in this present age the knowledge of your truth, the age to come eternal life. O ti agathos ke philanthropos theos i parhis ke sitin log sarna pembumen, to patri ke to yog ti upnev matin in ke ai, ke isu se onas kone ono. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. What shall I give back to the Lord for all he rendered to me? I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. And the yenisitin parthenia nephilaxas, and the kimisiton cosmon, who got the lipes theotoke, metestis prostin soin, 
μη τυρι πάρχουσα τη ζωή <coughs> και τε πρεσβείε τε σε λυτρουμένη εκ θανάτου τα ψυχάσιμο. Σοφία, ορθή. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who are wondrous in your saints. We sing to you, Alleluia. And giving birth, you retain your virginity, and in your mission, you did not forsake the world, O Theotoko. You were translated unto life, being the mother of life, and thus by virtue of your intercessions, you deliver our souls from death. Amen. Ευσεβίας της τρόπης εν γυμναζόμενη του μαρτυρίου την τρίβον διαπεράτε καλώς όσο μέμονες λαμπροί Χριστόν δοξασάντες όθεν γερέρωμενοι μας ως και νέους αθλητάς λόρε και λαβρεβόντες από παντίας ανάγκης Ρίσαστε πάντα σι μα αγί. In giving birth you retained your virginity, and in domission you did not forsake the world, O Theotokos. You were translated unto life, being the mother of life. And thus, by virtue of your intercessions, you deliver our souls <coughs> from death. And the genesis of the Parthenian Philaxas, and the kimisis of the cosmos, who can be με τέστις προς την ζωήν, μη τυρ υπάρχουσα της ζωής, και τες πρεσβείες τέσες λυτρουμένη, εκ θανάτου τας ψυχάσιμων. The Theotokos is undying in intercession, Immovable is our hope in her for protection. Neither death nor burial prevailed over her. As she is mother of life, she was removed to life by him. The Lord who lived in her ever virgin womb. <laughs> You are, for you are God, our holy. To you offer up glory, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. I Oh, 
Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive. The proclamation went forth into all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. The heavens declare the glory of God, the firmament shows the creation of his, his hands. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the church of God which is at Corinth, with all the saints who are in the whole of Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound for us, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. And if we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we endure. Our hope for you is unshaken, and we know that you share in our suffering, so you also share in our comfort. Peace be unto you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Sophie, the accustom and who are you evangelium? Irini Pasi. Get up, Nefmatisu. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Let us be attentive. The Lord said to the Jews who had come to him, Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation, producing the fruits of it. And he who falls on this throne will be broken to pieces. But when it falls on anyone, it will crush him. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they perceived that he was speaking about them. But when they tried to arrest him, they feared the multitudes because they held him to be a prophet. Uh, let us say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say, Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. 
eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Then we pray for Archbishop Nathaniel. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again we pray for our brethren, the priests, the higher monks, the higher deacons, the monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, help, salvation, protection, Forgiveness and remission of the sins of servants of God, all pious Orthodox Christians residing and visiting in this city, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. And we pray for the blessed and evermore founders of this holy church, for all our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, here have been piously laid to their rest as well as the Orthodox everywhere. Again we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works as holy and all venerable church, for those who labor and those who sing, and for the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Oti elei mon ki philanthropos te osi parhis, ke si din loksan anapem bomen. To patri ke to yo, ke to yo pnevmati, nin ke ai. Ke ish tu se onas to ne onos. Catechumens pray to the Lord. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens. Lord will hear that, have mercy on them. It will teach them the word of truth. Reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. They unite them to his holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and protect them, O God, by your grace. Catechumens, bow your heads to the Lord. Lord our God, who dwells on high and washes over the humble, you sent forth your only begotten Son and our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of the human race. Look down upon your servants, the catechumens, who have inclined their necks to you, and grant them at a proper time the baptism of rebirth, the remission of sins, the garment of incorruption. Unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church and number them among your chosen flock. <laughs> Again and again in peace, let us, let all of us, the faithful, pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Sophia, we give thanks to you, O Lord God of hosts, who has made us worthy to stand even now before your holy altar of sacrifice, to fall down before you, seeking your compassion, for our sins and for those committed in ignorance by the people. Accept, O God, our supplication. Make us worthy to offer you prayers, supplications, and bloodless sacrifices for all your people. By the power of your Holy Spirit, make us whom you have appointed to this your ministry, free of blame and stumbling, and with the witness of a clear conscience, able to call upon you at every time and every place, so that hearing us, you may be merciful to us in the abundance of your goodness. Oti prepi, si passa dox et imike proskinisis, to patric et o ioc jupnev matin inke ai, que se onas tone uno. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us and protect us. O God, by your grace, Sophia, that ever guarded by your might we may ascribe glory to you, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Oh. 
Son, Mary, Mary. 
May the Lord our God remember us all in his kingdom always, now and forever, and to the ages of age. May the Lord our God remember us all in his kingdom always now and forever and to the ages of Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. The precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. This holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, Wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For the remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls, and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. The complete reigning time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Let us ask for a Christian into our life, peace without shame and suffering, for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and every Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, you are holy. You accept a sacrifice of praise to those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from us sinners our supplication, bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer your gifts and spiritual sacrifice for our own sins, failings of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you. The good spirit of your grace may rest upon us, upon the gifts you present upon all your people. 
Δια τον ηκτήρμον του μόνο γενούς και με φλογητώσει, σου το Παναγίου και αγαθώ και στο ποιό σου πνεύματι, νυν και αή και στους αιώνας των αιώνων. Ειρήνη πάση, το πνεύματι σου. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and inseparable. Astiras, astiras, and Sophia, Roscomen. Πιστεύω εις ένα Θεόν, Πατέρα Παντοκράτορα, ποιητήν ουρανού και γης ορατώνται πάντων και αοράτων, και εις ένα Κύριον Ιησούν Χριστόν, τον Υιόν του Θεού τον Μονογενή, τον έκ του Πατρός και νηθέντα προπάντων των αιώνων, φως εκ φωτός, Θεόν αληθινών εκ Θεού αληθινού, γεννηθέντα ου ποιηθέντα, ομοούσιον το Πατρί Θεού τα πάντα γένετο. Τον διημάς τους ανθρώπους και διά την ημετέραν σωτηρίαν, κατελθόντα εκ των ουρανών και σάρκωθέντα εκ πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρίας της Πορθένου και ενάνθρωπίσαντα. Σταυρωθέντα τε υπρημών επί ποντίου πιλάτου και παθόντα και ταφθέντα και αναστάντα την τρίτη ημέρα κατά τα σγραφάς και ανεθόντα εις τους ουρανούς και κάθε ζώμενον εκ δεξιών του Πατρός, και πάλιν ερχόμενο μεταδόξης, κρίνε ζώντας και νεκρούς, ού της βασιλείας ουκέστε τέλος, και εις το πνεύμα το Άγιον, το Κύριον, το Ζωοποιόν, το εκ του Πατρός εκπορευόμενον, το Συν Πατρί και Υιός Συμπρός κινούμενον και συνδόξαζόμενον το Λελίσαν διά των προφητών, εις μίαν Αγίαν Καθολικήν και Αποστολικήν Εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άφεσιν αμαρτιών, πρόσδοκο Ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωήν του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in Lord, one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, 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 Lord of angelic hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Oh, Hosanna in the Blessed 
my body which is broken for you for the remission of sin. On me. Drink of this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Das ecton sol si prospero men kata panda ke panda. Once again, we offer this spiritual worship with the shedding of blood. Beseech and pray and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us from the gifts represented. May God be gracious be the sinner and have mercy upon me, O Theos. Ilastimi torto lokele som may God. Be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is cut, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We praise, we praise you. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Acciones dinos alitos, macaris Among the first, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Nathaniel. Grant to him your holy churches in peace, safety, honorable, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And grant that with one voice and one heart, May glorify and praise your most honorable, majestic name, the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of age. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, 
be with all of you. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Let our God, who loves mankind, have me accept them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar. As an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. <inaudible> Having asked for the unity of the faith, the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. <inaudible> We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we beseech, pray, and implore you. Look upon us, look, grant us to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries. From the sacred and spiritual tale of the clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and boldness for you not into judgment or condemnation. <laughs> Patera kelei. Pater imon ho endis uranis, ai hias tito to nomasu, el theto i vasilia su, genithito to thelimasu, osen urano ke epitis gis, to noroton imon to nepiusio nosi min simeron, ke afes imin ta ofilimata imon, os ke imis afiemen dis ofiletes imon, ke mi isen enkis imas ispirasmon, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks to the invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe. The multitude of your mercy, but all things from nothing to being, look down from heaven, O Master, upon those that bow down their heads before you, but not bow before flesh and blood, for you the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead. According to the need of each, sail with those that sail, travel those who travel and heal the sick, physician our souls and bodies. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God your holy dwelling place, from the throne of the glory of your kingdom, and come and sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father on high, and are present among us invisibly here, and with your, uh, and with your mighty hand, grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and to us to all the people. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O Deus, y las to lo que le me. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. Pros Isa is the holy gifts for the holy people of God. And God is a portion.
believe. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe this is truly your pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance. Make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries, for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion, or make, or make her burn me not as they partake. For you are a fire consuming the unworthy, who cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today, O Son of, as a partake of your mystical supper. For I not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss, as did Judas. But like a thief, I confess to you, remember me, o Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me, it deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have spent me with yearning, O Christ, with your divine arrows, you have cleansed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you. So leaping for joy, I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, when worthy, enter the splendor of your saints? If I should dare into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment. Being bound up, I should be cast up by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master, who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cling to God, blazing him the hope of my salvation. To dipnus utu mysticus simeronia theiu kinon paralave, umigartis ectris mystiron ipo ufili masi doso kathapir o iudas al os olistis amologos uskidia otanertis endi vasilia sume. Ispasan din hinexilten o fon gosaton ke ista perata tisikumenistari mata. The heavens declare the, declare the glory of God. The firmament shows the creation of his hands. Their proclamation went forth into all the earth and there were to the With the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. 
O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Ti do mento fosto alithinon, elavo men pnevma e puranion, evro men pistin alithi, Adiere ton triada proskinuntes. Aftihar imas esosen. We have seen the light, the true light, and have received the heavenly spirit. We now have found the true faith, by our worshiping the undivided Trinity, who has saved me, saved us. Idomento fosto alithinon, elavomen pnevma e puranion, evromen pistin alithi, Adiere ton triada proskinuntes, aftigar imas esosen. Be exalted, O God of the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. Ipsothiti epitrosa casa idoxa, be exalted, O God of the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. Evluitos o Theos Simon. Pandoten in keai, Jesus eonas ton eon on. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your sanctification, that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, having partake of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, great and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. We give thanks to you, Master, who loves mankind, benefactor of souls, that even on this very day you made us worthy of your heaven and mortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in your fear, guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications the glorious Theotokos and ever Jamerian of all your saints. O T C O I O I S M O S I M O N, que si tin doxar na pembo men, 
το πατρί και το ιό και το πνεύμα την ειν και αή και εις τις αιώνας των αιώνων. Εν ειρήνη προέλθομεν του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε δε ηθό. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you, and sanctify those who put their trust in you, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them, return by your divine power, and forsake us not who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. Perfect good and perfect gifts from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. Do you give glory, thanksgiving, and worship the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of age, Amen. Ή το όνομα Κυρίου ευλογημένον από του νυν και έως του αιώνος. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forever and forever. Το όνομα Κυρίου ευλογημένον από του νυν May the blessings of the Lord in his mercy come upon you by his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, to the ages of age. Amen. May Christ our true God, through the intercessions, all pure and all Holy Mother, the power of the precious life-giving cross, the protection on bodily powers of heaven, the supplication of the glorious prophet John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, the holy glorious and of Mars, the righteous God-bearing fathers. Her father among the saints, John Christian, Archbishop of Constantinople, the holy and righteous of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy martyrs Floros and Laros of Illyricum, whose memory celebrates the day of all your saints, have mercy upon us and save us for his good and loves mankind. May the Holy Trinity protect all of you. Good morning. And Chronopola, on this the feast day of St. Floros and Loros, we celebrate today. Thank you to our chanters, did a beautiful job, our reader, our readers, those who assisted in the narthex, and our video operator. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. The holy martyrs Floros and Loros, brothers in both the flesh and the spirit, they were both zealous Christians and stonemasons by craft. They lived in Illyria, some pagan priests set them to build a pagan temple. It happened during the course of their work that a fragrant, the fragment of stone splintered off and flew into the eye of the pagan priest's son who was watching the building work but with curiosity. Seeing his son blinded and bleeding, the priest shouted to Floris and Loros and tried to thrash them. Then the holy brothers told him that if he would believe in God, in whom they believed, his son would be restored to health. The priest promised Floros and Loros, prayed to, to the living God with tears and made the sign of the cross over the child's stricken eye. The child was healed instantly and his eye became whole as it had been before. Then the priest, Maretinos, and his son were baptized and they both very soon suffered for Christ in the flames. But Floros and Loros, when they had finished the temple, put a cross on it, called together all the Christians and consecrated it in the name of the Lord Jesus with the, an all-night vigil of hymns. Hearing of this, the governor of Illyria, or Illyricum, burned many of these children by fire and had Florus and Lotus thrown alive into a well in which there was then filled with earth. The relics were later discovered and taken to Constantinople. These two wonderful brothers suffered for Christ and were glorified by him in the second century. 
Sometimes something happens to us and we ask ourselves, why? Why did this happen to us? Everything that happens to us happens to us for a reason. And this, when this pagan priest's son became blinded by a piece of the, the stonemason's uh, work, it was for the glory of God. Remember in the scriptures, this, the Lord said this was done for the glory of God. The Lord has a, sees a bigger picture than us. He's trying to call all of us to repentance. He's trying to call all of us to salvation. He works through difficult things to make us filled with the Spirit, to know Him, to follow after Him, to love Him, and to serve Him. But He does not plant, promise us that life will be a piece of cake. Loris, Floris and Loris had a difficult life because they ended in martyrdom, being filled in a well, thrown in a well and filled with dirt. But their relics were, were, were found, and those relics, as all relics, are a source of strength and comfort to the faithful. May we be filled with the Holy Spirit, hopefully not thrown into a well. May we be filled with the Holy Spirit, our lives, our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our souls, our whole being, so that we may be a strength to those around us in this world, and hopefully our relics will be a strength to someone after our death, as were those of Floros and Loros. And uh, today, Saint, uh, rather, President Ted Laura Morton celebrates her name, her patron saint being the martyr Loros. God bless you, have a nice day. And, um, and may the holy martyrs, Lourdes and Lourdes, intercede for us and inspire us today. Amen. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord, my God, for thou hast not rejected me, a sinner, but has made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who are for our sakes, just die and rise again, and gave us these awesome and life-creating mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, the fulfilling of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the obtaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace and live not for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. May I pass from this life in the hope of eternal life and so obtain to the everlasting rest for the voice of those who feast is unceasing and the gladness of those who behold the goodness of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master Christ, our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion with thy most pure and life-creating mysteries. I pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection, beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me, even to my last breath, to partake worthily and with pure conscience of thy holy things for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. To thee we ascribe glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art a fire consuming the unworthy. Consume me not, O my Creator, but instead enter into my members, my veins, my hearts. Consume the thorns of my transgressions. Cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings. Make firm my knees and body. Illumine my five senses. Nail me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me understanding and illumination. Show me to be a temple of thy one spirit and not the home of many sins. May every evil thing, every carnal passion flee from me as from a fire as I become thy tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers and thy love, O my Christ, and make me, thy servant, a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and light of our souls, O good one. And to thee, our master and God, we ascribe glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my, my joy, health, and gladness. Make me a sinner, worthy to stand on the right hand of thy glory at thine awesome second coming. Through the prayers of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. 
O oh, most holy lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy, I thank you for you have permitted me, the unworthy, to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of your son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, you that gave birth to the true light. Enliven me who am deadened by sin, you that gave birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasoning. And enable me, even to my last breath, to receive the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may glorify you all the days of my life. For you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. For you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. For you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepare for the face of all peoples, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our most holy trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of age. Amen. In giving birth, you retain your virgin. Giving birth, you retained your virginity, and Dormition, you did not forsake the world, O Theotokos. You were translated unto life, being the mother of life. And thus, by virtue of your intercessions, you deliver our souls from death. In giving birth, you retained your virginity, and Dormition, you did not forsake the world, O Theotokos. You were translated unto life, being the mother of life. And thus, by virtue of your intercessions, you deliver our souls from death. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like fire hath enlightened the universe and hath disclosed to the world treasures of a convertness and hath shown us the heights of humility. That as thou dost instruct us by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom, intercede with the word, Christ God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. From heaven thou didst receive divine grace and by thy lips thou dost teach all to worship the one God in Trinity. O venerable John Chrysostom, the all blessed, Worthily do we extol thee, for thou art an instructor that dost reveal things divine, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. The church is revealed to all as a brilliantly lit heaven, leading the faithful in the way of light. Standing therein, we cry aloud, make firm the foundation of this house, O Lord. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Bless and bless us. May he cause his countenance to shine upon us, and have mercy upon us. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ our God, and our hope glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercession of pure and obedience to your mother, our Father, among the saints, John Christo, March of Constantinople, the holy and right saints of God, Joe Queen and Anna, for the holy martyrs, Floris and Loros of Illyricum, and those with them, the Venerable Sophronius of St. Anne Skeet of Monathos, the Venerable Bar Barnabas, Sophronius and Christopher of Sumela Monastery, the Venerable Arsenius the New of Paros, and the Venerable John of Ryla, the, whose repose we commemorate the end of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God. 
Dies kommt von einem Patern im Mond, Kiri Jesu Christe, O Theos, Eleison Jesus, O Nimar. God bless you and have a nice day.